Hello and welcome. This is Sotiri from Lasco Motors and today we'll be reviewing the MG iSmart application and have a run through all of its functionalities to see how it can add value to your life and to your overall driving experience. Let's get to it. If you want to see the best and latest offers, simply search for luscomotors.co.uk and select the brand you prefer. We continuously update our offers to ensure that you get the best deal on any new or used car. First things first, we're going to need to open the application. And as soon as it is open, we are presented with this lovely looking uh, landing page uh, finished in this uh, darker shade of grey along with the contrasting green battery, uh, which looks actually rather nice and modern. So let's go from the top to the bottom of the features. First one is uh, the status of the car. So currently I'm parked. So the status says parked. If the engine is running, then it will say running, uh, etc. Uh, right below that, we can see the status, um, a, a little logo saying vehicle status. When you click on that, the, cast, the, the application runs a scan of the overall car and then at the end of that scan, it gives you um, a report. So we can see here that after the scan has been finished, we have a total of 12 items and zero abnormal issues. Um, in the report, we can see uh, the status of the car, if it's locked or not, the status of the doors, the driver door, the passenger door, the rear, uh, the rear doors, etc. Moving along um, to the bottom, we can see the driver window, uh, but also the tire pressures. So I can see now that my front right tire is a 3.0 bar uh, pressure, and the front left tire is a 2.8 bar pressure. So it's it's a rather handy, rather handy application um, to have. Right below the vehicle status, we can actually see the, an image of the car and see if it's locked or not, or not, depending on the symbol we have in the middle of that image. Below that, we have the battery life. Um, and this is a rather handy feature because say, for example, you, have, you are at 50% battery and for whatever reason, you don't want to charge until 100% uh, and you want to charge up to 80%. You can use the little arrow there and let the car know that I want to charge the car up to 80%, 90, 95, or whatever that may be. And then just click start charging. And the car will start, start charging up to the, the point you have selected, uh, which is actually quite nice to have, especially if you're in a hurry to go to the, to the grocery store or pick up the kids from school uh, or other activities or whatsoever. Um, we also can see the remaining range depending on the battery, um, the amount of battery we have. Uh, but another handy feature of that is the scheduled charging. Um, what that does, if you click on it, is that you can select the hours that you would like your car to charge. So say you want to charge your car at off-peak hours so you can save some money. You can uh, select the time that the, um, that the charging will begin and the time that the charging will stop, uh, which again is rather handy and you can just save that. So every night where you put your car on to, um, to charge, it will start charging at the same time and stop charging at the same time, every single night. Um, if we go back to the original page now, we can see below the battery life on the left hand side, the find my car functionality, which is a really good functionality, especially for people like me who are not local. And every time, or everywhere I go and park the car, I need to take a screenshot of my of my GPS just so I can remember where I've parked the car. Uh, but with this functionality, there is no need for that anymore. So happy days as far as I'm concerned. Um, and right below that, we have the four main functionalities, the central lock, AC, AC blowing and front window. Uh, needless to say that for any of these functionalities to work, you need to be outside the car. So let us just jump now outside the car and showcase how these functionalities work. Let me now showcase the four main functionalities of this application, which as I've mentioned uh, just earlier, you will need to be outside the car for them to work. But something that is really handy is that you don't need to be nearby the car for them to work. Uh, the application just sends the signal to the car and the car does the command. So if we want to lock the car, you simply press the central lock symbol 
and then insert your security code. The application will automatically then send the information uh, to the car and the car will, will lock on its own. The next one we're going to see is the AC. Again, same principle applies, but the car needs to be locked. Uh, you just press on the AC button, you input your security code, and as you will see, the lights will come up, uh, letting you know that the, the air conditioning is now on. Um, it will also, also for security purposes, MG stops the AC after 10 minutes, but you can always just uh, press it again for another 10 minutes, <clears throat> which is handy to have. When the AC is on, you can and, and you're back into the main screen you can on the top right hand side you can see the HVAC button which you can then click on and then select um, select the temperature that you would like the cabin to be in last application we're gonna see is the uh, front window defrosting which again same principle so imagine you wake up on a cold morning and your windows are fully frosted uh, all you need to do is just open the application, click on the front window defrosting button, input your security key, and then just settle down. Have a warm cup of Yorkshire tea, and until you have that, the, the window will be fully defrosted and you are ready to go on your way. Now that we've seen all the main functionalities of this application, uh, let us go on to the menu where we can see the remote control, uh, and then right below it, travel. If we click on that, we can actually see where we are at the moment, and then you can select your destination, which works exactly like any other GPS, um, and it sends the information from your mobile application onto the car, onto the car's GPS system. Um, what's handy with this is that on the top right-hand side corner, we have this little green logo with the charging point um, image. So when you click on that, uh, the car quickly scans the area and lets you know any nearby uh, locations of a charging point uh, and how far away it is from you. So you can make your own calculations if you run low on battery. Uh, another nice feature that this application have, has is the MG touch point. So when you click on that, uh, it will show you um, nearby MG dealers where you can go and purchase um, or ask any questions for a new MG. Obviously, Lasco Motors being your first choice. Next to that, we have the MG service functionality, which again follows the same pr principle as the MG dealer. Uh, it scans the area and shows you any service stations that you can take your MG uh, for a service, MOT, etc. And right next to that, you have the test drive uh, functionality, which when you click on it, it shows you any nearby locations that you can go and test drive a brand new MG uh, that you're interested in. Um, and overall, this is the application. I hope you did find this video informative and useful. If you did, please consider giving us a like and subscribe to the channel for much more content like this. My name is Sotiri and thank you for watching.